was having a great workout until I got violated, until my personal space got invaded, until my body got disrespected. And what's crazy is like, this is not the first time. You know the vibes. It's Jay. Hand me the lighter, I'm about to get litter than a bitch. Big, big period. Are you serious? These hoes are acting all delirious, and I ain't. You know the vibes. Good morning, J Squad. Plum Squad. It's your girl Jay. You already know. Welcome back to J Vibes, where there's a whole lot of great vibes going on. Big period. I did not share this little note thing that I keep in my mirror with you guys. It says, I can tell a lot about a person by the way a person wakes up. Make time for what you want. Everyone has the same 24 hours. P. Diddy, Drake, The City Girls, <laughs> etc. Prioritize. Be early before considering being on time. Love what you do. Love yourself. Create the voice inside yourself of motivation. Smell. The story behind this, you guys, I was working at this really, really, really toxic work area like it was just toxic the energy was bad you know what i'm saying i really feel like my managers used me and then abused me uh, i really felt like i was harassed not anything sexually but like you know i just i didn't feel like you know they wanted me there so i literally this is the cashier printed paper oh no don't go in the water so i literally made copies of these and i put it all around the restaurant and you know what his hating ass did? He fucking snatched it down and he threw it away because he's a whore. Yeah, the manager was a whore. Um, I'm talking about the restaurant Beaver Chicken on the rich side of Charlotte at that. So that's how I know he ain't want my black ass in that bitch. Anywho, um, it's crazy though because the only reason why I went over there is because I thought I was getting promoted. But damn, I ended up getting promoted and fired. That shit is crazy. No, I got promoted, demoted, and then fired. So I got transferred over there to help them open up a new Viva Chicken store because I was working in Huntersville. And um, I was doing such a great job and it was very convenient to where I was living at, at the time so I got transferred over there and yet it didn't work out so I made all of these inspiration notes and I put it all around the restaurant and I was able to keep two of them the other one the words that I matched is I think I was you know I don't know but when I was reading the other paper I was like wait that's not what I said so I had to throw that one away and I kept this one and I put it in the bathroom and this is actually something that I'm trying to apply in my day as well because I have gotten really big on procrastination just for the simple fact that you know I've literally left a place where I was just so comfortable and I would just go about my day how I wanted to do so if I want to sleep in girl that's what I was doing I wasn't making no content so it's kind of like what else am I going to do I just need to wake up go to work you know I, work itself you guys working so damn much that's really all I had time to do was sleep eat go to work come back wash my ass sleep eat wait I gotta eat before I sleep you know what I'm saying so um again you can tell a lot about a person by the way a person wakes up. So if you sleep in and then, you know what I'm saying, you rush to go do whatever, mm, you ain't no hustler. Okay, but if you wake up early, you get your shit done, you know what I'm saying, you prioritize your day, which is what I'm trying to do. I'm literally still trying to, like I said in my last video for the voiceover, I'm still trying to get comfortable in my home, you guys. And um, with that being said, I just try, I'm trying to, get into a schedule that works best for me and because i got a promotion with my job um my schedule really is consistent but sometimes it's not consistent yesterday i went to work at 10 because i was a driver today i am stepping into a leadership role so i'm going to work tonight at three o'clock tomorrow i'm going to be going to work at 7 30 in the morning so you know i'm really just trying to figure out a schedule that works for me but today Please make sure you are subscribed. Please make sure you give this video a thumbs up. Ain't that right, doo doo? Make sure you share, follow, comment. Your bell is on. And today we're about to go to the gym. I gotta make me a shake. I gotta brush my teeth. I gotta get dressed. What time is it? 9.14. I told Bae I was gonna be at the gym by 9.35-ish. She is so big on making sure I'm on my shit. And I am so big on not listening. It's so bad. I 
I listen sometimes, but sometimes I don't listen. But I appreciate her because she definitely does like make sure I'm on my shit and I just don't think period like no explanation needed. She be on my ass like fucking brown rice. The brown on the rice. Like no matter how long you boil it, burn it, that bitch go brown. And if you do burn it to the point where you can never save it, that bitch black. So yeah, she be on my ass. Because you gotta think about it. White on rice, if you burn white on rice, or if you burn the white rice, that bitch is black. So that bitch could eventually change. But that brown, that brown rice, it is the brown rice. It's black and black is still brown and brown. It's black. Anyway, we're going to the gym. I got to put in an order for vinyl and I got to pick that bitch up. My birthday dress. Well, it's not even really my birthday dress. It's a dress that I'm wearing the night of my birthday for this sneaker ball event. So I gotta go get that altered today and I don't know what kind of time I'm gonna be on because three o'clock comes like that. <laughs> and um, yeah. Yeah, so yeah. Let me get into it. So I'm back from the gym and I have a quick little story time to tell, to give. I was having a great workout until I got violated, until my personal space got invaded, until my body got disrespected by a black man. That's what sucks. Like we be trying to stick up and stand for our brothers and the black community and it be y'all that go against us. It be y'all that disrespect us. It be y'all that really <laughs> go against everything that we try to stand for and represent for you. For You know what I mean? Like, so I'm working out. When I first go in there, it's just this dude and me. But I'm not paying his ass no fucking attention, but I see him keep looking at me. But I just feel like if you don't entertain shit, then certain shit won't. You know what I'm saying? If you don't feed into stuff, then it won't get entertained. So then the cleaners come. Like maybe 30, 40 minutes later, the cleaners come. The cleaners are in there right now cleaning up. And then this couple comes to work out. So now we're not alone. And mind you, I'm right across from the leasing office. So the leasing office is open. So I'm working out. I done did my first session now i'm going into my second session of my workout which is targeting my abs so i'm targeting my abs doing my workout i got my headphones on my mask on so then dude comes closer to me 
So I see him beside me. I see him doing this. And so I kind of like looked over to see what is, what is he doing and why he's so fucking close. And he's like trying to like push me to keep going. Bro, like we're not workout partners. So, and I can't hear you. So like, and why are you in here for so long? Like at this point, you're not even working out. Like I just feel like sometimes people go to the gym just to be like, just to act like they in a fucking rap concert or some shit. Like they just like to look at themselves in the mirror and rap songs and you know, do like three reps of whatever the fuck random ass shit. Like you're not even in here for real. Then, like I'm still not paying his ass no fucking attention. I'm just still like doing my reps. This nigga touches me. He touches my boob to be exact. I really be trying not to show my ass, not to go crazy. I really worked on that. I've really, you know, I've come a long way. So all I did was I looked at him and I took off my headphones and he immediately knew because he knew that shit was wrong. He knew what the fuck he did. I didn't even have to say shit. He knew what the fuck he did. He was like, I'm sorry. And then he walked away. But sometimes I really wish I wouldn't think before I react. Sometimes I wish I would just fucking react. I would have loved to smack, punch the dog fucking shit out of his ass. I don't even finish my workout. I get in my car and I read like, I don't even go the regular way home. I just like go a different type of way because there's different ways that you can get to my building. So I, I, I went a whole different, different way to get home. And now I'm here. So I'm about to wash this nasty energy off of my body. Reset myself for my day. Make me something to eat, lunch preferably because it's lunchtime and go run my errands and have a great day like I was meant to have. And what's crazy is like, this is not the first time that I've worked out. Like this happened a long, long time ago. This happened like maybe what, four or five years ago. But I, when I would like go to the park and work out, I was at a park working out and this random Caucasian man came up to me and he touched my stomach. Living by myself, I'm not scared, but it's just like, damn, like, you know, I cannot help that I'm attractive or pretty, but I feel like I'm not even thinking about that type of shit. When I'm at the gym trying to work out, like, you'll get disrespected and violated and harassed in the most random ass places. Like, what if this was nighttime? Cause I work out at night. I do what works best for my schedule, but what if that was nighttime? What if we were by ourselves? I'm just gonna go take a shower and get this energy off of me. I think it's the perfect time to sage, but I wanna do that by myself. I did wanna vlog it, but I just really wanna cleanse my home by myself. And I wanna shower and I wanna get this energy off of me. And then I wanna have a great day. So I'll see you. Okay, you guys, so I am finally dressed and ready to go, and I'm about to go to the post office first. From the post office, I'm going to go pick up the vinyl because that's just a quick pickup, and then I have my dress in the back that I cannot show you, and I'm going to get it altered. Hopefully, I get all of this stuff done before I have to go to work, and I don't have on any jewelry, no mascara, and I'm not feeling as beautiful as I usually do feel, if that makes sense any sense but i'm gonna get it together i'm definitely not gonna let what happened earlier today you know ruin my mood or make me feel any type of way um well i do feel a type of way but i'm not gonna let it you know ruin my day completely so um yeah let's go this battery has two notches if for any reason if, if this camera does not make it into the end of the day today of uh, the end of my errand run today I'm gonna use my iPhone, no excuses, let's get it.
I ain't conceited. I I'm a different breed. It. Catch you slipping, best belief. I don't need no reason. I'ma cut the ties, ho. Turn your wife to my hoe. Just focus on you, baby girl. <laughs> J vibes. You know the vibes. You know the fuck going on. And I'm out this bitch. <laughs>